Hi, and welcome to An Artist Drink Cocktails. I'm your host, Katie Phillips. If you're looking for a little creative inspiration, then I've got just the thing. This is your chance to eavesdrop in on my conversations with artists and help get those creative juices flowing. Today, I'm gonna to go visit Tatiana Mack. Tatiana's work ranges from traditional oil paintings to fluid acrylics and also resin work. I'm very interested in her resin pieces because they're not only beautiful, but they're also functional. And it's a brand new area for me, so I'm very intrigued. She's also an officer in the Alpharetta Arts Guild, a local nonprofit. I'm eager to learn how they are being champions of the arts in the community. Today I'm with Tatiana Mack, and uh, first of all, I want to say thank you for this cocktail. Cheers! So tell me, what are we drinking today? Well, this is called Coca Loca, and I um, I was actually on vacation last summer in Florida. Okay. It's um, it's a very nice place called Rosemary Beach. Oh yeah. And it's, uh, beautiful. It has all these nice little restaurants, nice little vacation houses. And I went to one of the restaurants and, um, you know, I don't like very, uh, you know, I don't like champagnes or wines. Mm -hmm. So I said, can you give me some kind of a, I don't know, new cocktail or something? So a guy said, okay, how about a Coca Loca? Okay. <laughs> so he made me this Coca Loca and I fell in love with it. Yes, it's That's very good. Really good. So. Thankfully, the guy was Russian, so I talked him into giving me the recipe. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's very so it's very coconut like flavor. Yes, so so yes. it's very tropical, very Florida. <laughs> yes, very much. So yes. it's like it's my favorite drink nowadays. Okay, even in the winter. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you for introducing me to this. Sure. Cheers. Uh, so tell me, how long have you been an artist, and maybe what led you to become an artist? Well. I don't know how could we count it. I guess from the birth or from <laughs> <laughs> um, when I was young, I was painting just you know like any child would. And then I was growing up. Um, uh, we start in Russia, of course. We didn't have much of what you guys hear. We only had like three channels on TV. Oh, really? So and then all of a sudden we start having more. And I guess at that time I was already somewhat young teenager. And I guess our country start being more open to the West. And we start seeing uh, Disney. Uh huh. And my favorite cartoon was the Winnie the Pooh. Oh yeah. So I would watch it, record it, stop, and draw it. And this is how I started uh -huh. back when I was young. And then of course, you know, it's went away, you know, got to the college, right. married, forget about art. And um, come back in 2015, mm -hmm. we moved back to Georgia from up north mm -hmm. and uh, I was bored. Mm -hmm. It's like, what do I do? One day I went shopping to Michael's and they had a sale on canvas and paint or something. It's like, oh, that's a good idea. Let's like, instead of watch TV or play games on the computer every day. So that's it. We're going to do painting today. So I got wash, I got acrylics, I got oils, got canvases, got canvas boards, so it's like small. So I came home and I said, kids, today we will be painting. <laughs> oh, we said, okay. And that's it. Mm -hmm. And I started painting and I loved it. I couldn't stop it. Mm -hmm. And my kids left and I stayed. <laughs> yeah. And um, that's so I was going through this group and postings and then, you know, Facebook starts showing me something weird called acrylic pour. I said, what, what is that? It's like, <laughs> this looks very weird. But they have videos there too. And it's like, it looks like, you know, like kids can play in the mud. That's uh -huh. basically it. You just 
take all different colors and you just make this combination and pour and watch it. Uh -huh. And it flows and it makes weird shapes. Mm -hmm. I thought, that's weird, but let me try. Yeah. So I tried and I loved it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just took over. <laughs> just took over, yes. So that's how I started my second style. Right. You know, acrylic pour is one thing, but then how do you, you know, seal it? You know, mm -hmm. so I started figuring, trying to ask people, how do I seal my acrylic? Because acrylic, you know, it, it gets a little bit dull and, you know, sun will damage it and all of that stuff. And um, I came across the resin. So I was like, okay, well, that looks like a gloss. It looks like awesome, you mm -hmm. know? So I start using resin and um, pouring resin on top of my acrylic paintings. Mm, I like that. Yeah. And uh, slowly, slowly, I got into the resin painting, which is slightly different. And the effects of resin painting is different than your acrylic uh, fluid acrylic. So it's um, it's very interesting. Yeah. It's very pretty. Um, so tell me about how growing up in Russia uh, affects or impacted your artwork. Um, actually, I, if I think about it, it didn't affect my um, fluid acrylic or my resin painting, but it did affect my oil paintings mm -hmm. because I feel like I'm still drawn to the style of this Russian painters, you know, uh -huh. and uh, a lot of the time I do watch um, so some of the teachers, uh, Russian teachers who do uh, teach online, I follow a couple and um, I really like this uh, lady. She, she, her name is Olga Vazanova and uh, she has her webinars online. You, you can buy it or, you, or she has like once a week a free seminar. Oh, cool. So it, it's mm -hmm. awesome. What she does, basically, she paints life. Uh -huh. And you either follow her or you can just watch her work. You can text and the person reads questions to oh, her, she okay. answers. It's awesome. Oh, that's cool. I mean, too bad it's in Russian. Oh, it but is in Russian. I was about to ask. Yeah. <laughs> so I know you uh, you go by the handle Yania um, with your artwork. Tell me about that. Um, well, it's actually influenced by my childhood. <laughs> um, when I was growing up, there was a cartoon of, um, you know, in Russia, it's uh, usually, it's a rabbit and a fox. So mm -hmm. rabbit runs away from the fox, fox tries to uh, ch uh, you know, chase him and catch him. Rabbit usually outsmarts this, something okay. very similar to what you guys have, uh, Tom and Jerry. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, in this cartoon, this rabbit is running away from the um, fox and he hides behind two big animals standing and fox comes and she says have you seen the rabbit and they grab him by the ears they pull him and they say this one and she says no and he says me not me <laughs> so basically they's like i am not the rabbit uh -huh. so i thought this one would be like my in the beginning, when I started painting, I was kind of a, uh, like worried about showing my work. You uh -huh. know, like I will show my work, but it's not mine. Like it's oh, okay. like, I, I don't want to put my name there. Oh. So it's basically it started as like it wasn't me. Oh. <laughs> if you like it, it's me. If you don't, it was hers. <laughs> Okay, so I know you have uh, your studio here in your home. Um, would it be okay if we take a little peek? It's okay, but I advise you, caution, <laughs> it's a mess. <laughs> when the, when the uh, artist who does acrylic pour or resin tell mm -hmm. you the studio is clean, <laughs> it's never, I mean, w with that kind of medium, you have everything everywhere. It's tripping, falling, and everything else, yeah. so. But that just means that you're hard at work <laughs> making beautiful art. Thank you. <laughs> well, okay, sure. Okay. The, I'm not gonna wear, but 
this is what I have to wear all the time when you paint with resin because uh, it is toxic. You have to wear it. So today, just for you, I'm not gonna wear it. Here's my resin I'm using. Um, and this is a uh, bristle. People using this thing to check your temperature. I'm using it to check my resin. <laughs> <laughs> so it's 72, perfect to paint. So, gloves are important to make. Now we're gonna start mixing my resin. And this is a uh, one-to-one uh, ratio, so uh, it's easy to measure. And uh, about two to three minutes. And then I usually switch it from one container to another because uh, if you don't mix it well enough and you will pour on your painting or in your coasters, that unmixed resin will be sticky and basically you will ruin your art piece. This which is your Mika Pare, also from the For Rizzle. So these are the, I guess, the pigments that yes. you mix? Okay. Yeah, so this is like a pigment, it's a dry pigment. There are also the liquid ones, which would be the paste. Mm -hmm. Or you can use, this is the hues. Sorry, it's been used a lot. <laughs> <laughs> this is very um, opaque. This is opaque. The paste depends how much you put in. Most of it, it's um, translucent and if you use like alcohol inks or you even like acrylic inks that is usually translucent want to try this diamond earring body out hmm. <laughs> blue steel i was thinking amethyst that's a pretty oh, yeah color. that's pretty look how beautiful it is oh yeah sparkly yeah, we're gonna put that here. Wow, it's gorgeous. That's pretty. pretty too, huh? Resin likes heat, but not too much heat because otherwise it will burn it. This needs more, some kind of a, I think, like defined color, don't you think? Like a stand up? Contrast or something, you have to stand up. What do you think? Or what do you think about this one? Like, are you wanting to bring up more, more of the purple or the... Yeah, something, yeah.
Um, so Tatiana, tell me, um, do you have an artist bucket list? Is there anything that you hope to achieve one day in your in your artist career? A lot. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot. One of the things I would love to learn the palette knife, oh, like you do. Yeah. I would love to be able to paint with palette knife. I do like the texture as well. Uh -huh. I like to. Um, I like that loose feeling of you know the, how you paint with palette knife it's not exact right um, so I do like that but um, and on the other side of course I would love to progress in realism and be able to uh, I don't know if I can really get to the photograph painting oh, but yeah uh, that, that would be amazing <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> but that's um, that's a lot of work and I don't know if I will ever get there <laughs> Uh, so tell me, what is some uh, really good advice that you've heard um, that you'd like to pass along to some other artists? Um, the very good advice I learned from, actually from the company I buy my resin. Mm -hmm. uh, I love their resin, really good. And um, what they suggested is use the alcohol, spray it on mm -hmm. your painting. And if you wish to have a shimmer on your painting, put a little bit of that powder like mm -hmm. that gold powder oh, yeah. we were using today uh -huh. put it just a little bit in your sprayer with the alcohol and spray okay so um alcohol spray it does kill the bubbles so the air bubbles they come up in the resin very quickly mm -hmm. and alcohol kind of bursts them okay and on top of that if you put that little you know shimmer in it it gives the beautiful color so yeah. i really like that idea what they they gave us yeah so that that I want to share with the rest of the people who yeah. paint with resin. Yeah, well, that's probably a good point. I bet a lot of these, because um, I've noticed just in just normal paints and things like the manufacturers often have a lot of, you know, really good tips and tricks. Yep. Yep. So probably helpful to check out those websites as yep. well. Yep. So you are an officer with the Alpharetta Arts Guild, um, which is a local nonprofit group uh, yep. that promotes the arts in the community. Um, what's some of the uh, important initiatives that you guys are doing right now? This year, at least, we we do have the portrait artist coming, mm -hmm. um, probably in May again. Okay. He is uh, coming from South Carolina, so he's going to be here for a couple days. Um, that would be a very limited class. I think we only can have like 15 to 20 people because it's difficult to have a portrait artist go around the room and right. you know correct everybody. Yeah. Then we will probably have a photographer coming over and teaching our class of how to take pictures, how to do the light and all of that stuff. So that would be very interesting because a lot of us, we paint, or with the sculpture and we don't know photography and it's very important to promote your art to know how to photograph so that will be very interesting oh, yeah. um, um, I'm thinking we have a lot of people who want to come so you know uh, something like this I know that Alpharetta Art Center is open uh -huh. I think we're gonna try to have some classes there we can have some outside classes too if uh, people not very comfortable in coming in but other than that, uh, we do have an Alpharetta uh, show in um, Avalon, the um, Avalon Gallery in the 6,000 and 5,000 uh, hallways are open. Uh -huh. uh, we just did a new uh, exhibit there. Okay. So I think it will be there. We usually keep it for four months and then we'll just have new artists yeah, coming so and spot, so forth. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so just, you know, swapping mm -hmm. exactly to show more art to people and allow artists to, you know, promote their art. Um, we're going to have somebody in marketing coming over and help us uh, basically teach us how to market your art online. Okay. I think it's very important, especially right now. Yeah. We don't have any, you know, <laughs> art shows, or anything like that. Yeah, so you're everything dependent online, upon the internet. So. Yes, everything <laughs> on the internet. So that is very important. So yeah, well, that's great. It sounds like you've got a lot going on. Oh yeah, yeah. We yeah. we hoping we hoping yeah. this year we we'll have to pick it up and exactly. you know, yeah. start again. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, tell me. Uh, this is a question I like to ask everyone. If you could invite anyone over in history, living or dead, for a cocktail. Who would, who would you invite? Um, well, there's a lot of people I would love to meet. 
course, and dead or living, there are some of the people I Never met him before. Oh wow! And I don't think he knows of my existence. <laughs> so I thought that I, when I learned about him from my mom, uh, I was very excited that we have a really true artist in my family. It's right. like, oh, I would love to meet him. <laughs> yeah. So, so is he is he still living in Russia? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. he's somewhere in St. Petersburg. He has his own gallery there and the studio, and he teaches. His art is very different than mine. Uh -huh. He's more into mosaic art. Okay. Uh, but um, art is art. It is. <laughs> it's all kind. It takes all kinds. <laughs> yeah. Um, so tell me, uh, do you have anything um, on the horizon for your art? Any shows or uh, anything we should know about? Um, not really anything. I haven't planned anything besides the, just the Avalon show. I, I mean, I do post a lot of my art on Instagram. Right. Some on Facebook, but I kind of like more on Instagram. I have yeah. a, a lot of um, following uh, accounts following me. But um, I basically this year I turned into selling my stuff and showing my stuff online mm -hmm. and uh, on Etsy. Yeah, that's great. Well, how can people find you uh, on your on your Instagram? Well, on my Instagram, it's the same as. Uh, Yania Art. Yania Art. <laughs> uh, that would be my main account with all the inst um, acrylic pour, resin pour. But I also have uh, same Yania Art oil paintings okay. where I post my oil art. Uh -huh. And um, yeah, so uh, my goal is basically to promote the artist in the uh, guild. I would love to, you know, help them to grow their, you know, awareness of people of their <laughs> art. And um, I've noticed that a lot of them don't have an Instagram account, but they right. have the website accounts. Uh -huh. So in any case, I try to post once a day some you know, art of one of them and either point to their Instagram or point to their website. So right. yeah. I hope that will help them. <laughs> yeah, help get the word out. Yes. <laughs> so Tatiana, thank you so much for having me over and for showing me how you do your resin art. It was so, it was so much fun to learn about that. Thank you so much for coming. Yes, cheers. cheers. <laughs> Join us on the blog where you can learn more about Tatiana and get the recipe for that delicious cocktail.